Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today we're going to talk about the floating notifications or the messaging bubbles. Now, when it comes down to messaging bubbles, this is something that's brand new to Android 11, and it is also a part of Samsung One UI 3.0 because that did bring you Android 11. Now, Samsung had something that was very similar to this. It was like a pop-up view option, and so I'm going to show you what all of this looks like. And so when you go inside of the settings, then you want to go inside of your notifications, then underneath notifications, scroll down to where it says advanced features. Now, this is where you have the option here for floating notifications. Now, inside of this one, this is where you can have the option for off. You can have the Android 11 version of bubbles, which I'll show you that here in just a second, or you can do smart pop-up view. Now, smart pop-up view, it's like a small little baby screen. It also comes in as a little bubble. It's pretty cool. It's something that allows you to still work on another application in the background, and then you can minimize this one, or you can make it bigger. But today we're going to talk about the notification bubbles. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to send myself a text message right now just to show you what it looks like. Uh, so anytime you get a notification, it's going to say who it's from and also the message right there. You'd also be able to go through and probably change some of your notification settings if you want it to kind of stay a little bit more private. Um, but Let's move on back. Uh, I do wanna answer a question about the Android 11 with Samsung One UI 3.0. I get this asked all the time. When is it coming to your device? So right now, this is part of the beta program. We've had two updates so far. More than likely, the main push of this one in terms of the public release is gonna be sometime in December. Now for other devices, it will be January or February. So now that we're watching one of my own videos, I'm just gonna go through, delete that one, and let's just state that we're watching this video and then another message comes through. So one of the cool things is that it's not going to interrupt what we're doing. We're able to still read it right there. Uh, and this is actually a pretty good segment here to kind of move over that if you're brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo and you appreciate these tips, tricks, and tutorials on your Samsung Galaxy devices, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to so get notified for all future videos. So with my self plug out of the way, let's just move over and let's open up this little notification bubble. Now, once you open up the notification bubble, you're gonna just read your notification. You're able to tap right there. You're able to respond back. Uh, once you hit on the respond back, you're able to send it on back. And then you're able to just tap right outside of the screen. And now you're still able to do exactly what you wanted to do and what you're doing from before. Now, if you wanna go back inside of that message one more time, just tap on that message. And then once you go inside of here, you're able to respond back. Now, there's really not a lot you're able to do. You can't really move it around. You can't change the size. There's really not much you can do. It's really just a small little bubble that you're able to interact with. Now, if you wanna see what this looks like when you have the other notification turned on, which was that smart pop-up view, all we're gonna do is we're gonna go right back inside of these settings. Now inside of the settings, we'll go back inside of the notifications. We'll go back inside of the advanced features. So now let's go inside of that smart pop-up view. This is something that Samsung has already had on their phones. So we're gonna turn this one on here for notifications. So to take a look at what this one looks like here, we're just gonna open up YouTube just a little bit bigger. We're gonna send another message. You're gonna see that the, the message pop-up, the bubble is a little different. It's more of like a square circle-ish type look there. Uh, this one has a little notification symbol there. On the other one, the Android 11 version had a little dot. Now, once you open this one up, there's actually quite a few more options. You have to remember the original one that we're talking about, the messaging bubbles was made by Google. So they're very you know, simple, straight based. When it comes down to Samsung, they always add more features to everything. So when you actually open this one up, you can tap on that little line. You can go into inside of that split view window. So if you wanna have YouTube on top and then messaging on the bottom, or if you wanted to switch these right there, you can minimize it, you can make it larger, or you can just simply get out. So if you wanna get out of everything, you just tap on that little X, then that's how you're able to close it on out. So that's kind of the difference between the, the smart pop-up view from Samsung, the floating messaging bubbles from Android 11, and hopefully that kind of helps you guys out, also where you're able to find it. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.